Hey folks, in today's video, I wanna walk you through Milwaukee's entire M18 hammer drill lineup and explain to you guys why the 2804-20 is the best hammer drill that Milwaukee offers and it's the one that you're gonna to wanna to buy. I will have links to this exact drill in the video description on Amazon and a bunch of other tool sites. If you wanna check it out, that will be down below. The reason this is the tool that you wanna buy is if we look at the comparison chart here, these first two, the 2704-20 and the 2706-20, both of which are still on Milwaukee's website, are the generation two. So these two here are generation three. These are the newest models, as you can see here at the bottom. These are generation two. The newer models have some extra features like a full metal chuck and some notable differences that's worth the investment and worth going generation three. So cross the generation two off of your list. If you do find these for sale, oftentimes they are the same price as a generation three. So they're pretty much just selling them to people who don't know any better, which is kind of messed up. So stay away from the generation two. Now you might also encounter the 2902-20. This is actually the current generation of this model, but the difference between this and the 2804-20 is this is not the fuel version. So this is indeed a brushless hammer drill, but it's not the fuel version. The fuel version is basically their high output. It's their highest top end tool that they have. So this is kind of a mid range version of the hammer drill. It only has 725 inch pounds of torque, whereas the fuel version has 1200 inch pounds of torque. So go ahead and cross the 2902-20 off your list. For the price, you're just better off going with the actual fuel version. Okay, now when it comes to the fuel version, you have the 2804-20 and the 2806-20. These are the exact same tools. The only difference is the one key. The 2804-20 does not have one key and the 2806-20 does. The one key system is basically made for managing a large selection of tools through their app. I find it kind of gimmicky. I don't use it. I think the average person is not gonna find a ton of value in it. And for that reason, I recommend you just get to 2804-20 because it's less expensive. The one key does add a little bit extra expense to the tool. And I think for the average person, it's really not worth it. Especially since both of these tools have the exact same performance. The only difference is that one key feature. So when you're looking at the drills, the 2804-20 is gonna give you the highest performance. It's the newest model. It has all the power and it does not have the one key, which is something a lot of people pay for and they don't really know what it is and they don't end up using it. So just stay away from the one key for the average user. It's really not worth it. So I hope this video was helpful. I know that Milwaukee does a terrible job and I'm gonna continue to make these videos to try to clear up the questions that people have because I know people find this really, really useful. So like I said, I will have links to the 2804-20 in the video description if you wanna check it out. Appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to check out my channel if you wanna check out some other tool reviews and guides, and I will catch you guys in the next one.